All right, we're here this morning. We're going to install the uh, generator in the 1987 GMC. Uh, here we've got all of our electrical parts. Um, we're using 10 gauge wire. Uh, this is our, uh, our relay. Uh, we've got some 16 gauge wire running to the switch. That's the switch we've got. And uh, some fuses. And this is an inline fuse holder. So we're going to get started and uh, take you through this step by step. Okay, now I'm going to solder the ends onto the 10 gauge wire. These ends here will uh, connect to the relay. It helps put a little flux on the uh, end of the wire. This plumber's flux will help that uh, will help the solder flow. That's it. Then we'll go ahead and heat shrink these ends. This is a precision piece of uh, GMC engineering here. Okay, we've drilled a hole in the firewall for the uh, the override switch to go through. We're putting the uh, 16 gauge wire in through there. All right, we found the uh, fuel pump relay for this. This is a throttle body fuel injection. Um, then on the relay we found which uh, which pin becomes hot when you when the engine is running. So I took my my voltmeter here and uh, had my friend start the uh, start the engine and found that this this pin here was energized when the engine started. So that's the one we want. I used a this type of connector. Just an inline splice, and then this this lead here will go to the override switch. Okay, that is going to sit. In there. Just like that. And it just sits right down in there perfect. We'll do a little bit of mounting later. We have found a spot to come off with our hot power on this lug here on the firewall. We'll come off of that with our fuse in just a second. Hook that up. Bring that around to the relay. I think we're just going to mount it somewhere in here. Okay, we got the inline fuse hooked in. All the ends are soldered, shrink wrapped. We're going to use this ground right here to ground the. Uh, generator and the to ground the relay probably put the relay in about like that
We had to go get a new relay. The relay we had had five prongs on it. And uh, I'm not that smart with electrical, so uh, we went down and got a, a four prong relay, which I understand. And we're gonna we're getting ready to wire it up right now. So this is one we got. This is one I'm used to. This is the relay I have on my neon. 30 amp. Got this at Pet Boys Auto Parts Store. Okay, on this relay, 87 is the power hot. 30 goes to the generator. 85 comes in from the switch in the cab. And the 86 on the bottom right is the ground. Alright, there you go. Relay is mounted. We're gonna tuck away these wires real nice. Um, getting ready to fill up the gen. This unit takes three liters. You can't see it on there. It's at the three liter mark. And two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm going to go ahead and put this in and uh, start it up and see what we get. I have a funnel. No funnel. Where do you want me? Okay, we got it all wired up. We've got our tube. Getting ready to connect it to the generator. Yeah, somewhere in there. And on this end, I'll show you what we did. And yes, the filter needs to be replaced desperately. But, we've got our tube coming up through there. Some bad lighting here. Right up through there. Okay, all we have to do now is start it up and see what kind of production we're getting. Okay, we are running. The generator is performing great. I don't know if you can see that, but... Producing nicely. We're not going to put this on the tester until we get the electrolyte figured out for this vehicle. The uh, let's see if I can do this here. Putting out about 16 volts. So. Uh, that's a little bit higher than I have on the neon. I put out about 13. So we got three more volts flowing through this cell. So we're going to have to do a kind of a custom electrolyte mixture with this. So we've started with three liters and uh, two, ta two teaspoons. And we're going to uh, let it run for a while, figure out exactly how much we're going to need in this. This concludes the uh, 1987 GMC pickup project. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them. I'd be glad to answer anyone's questions. Thanks for watching.